Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're still, well, we're back in the uh, the Fountainhead Palace, I think. We've uh, made our way through this bit of water because I don't think we can actually dive in here. It's all shallow water. We killed a lot of those electro doggies, and we managed to make our way through this sculpt, this idol. And there seem to be a lot of music players on the other side of this door, which we probably can't even open, no. So let's go over here. And it seems like we're heading inside of the building this time. To see if we can take out that one... Ooh, my cat just jumped on me. That kind of freaked me out. There we go, he died. He died. Let's take his stuff. We get more grave wax. That is something new, isn't it? I got a bit of it already. That has formed inside the body and turned pitch black. Used for occultic prosthetic tool upgrades of an advanced nature. A long suffered illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run the water over the side of an extracted growth. Um, but maybe I'm starting to feel like the water actually makes things worse instead of better. Okay, this seems like a trap. I could jump in here. Is that an enemy or a woman I can talk to? Seems like we can talk. Excuse me, young man. Hello. No, I don't want your water. Let's talk to her. Young man, please be careful. The palace nobles have a craving for the vitality of youth. They can't help themselves. They want nothing but to sap away more and more of it. I see. The courtyard ahead in particular. It is a curse it. It's crawling with palace nobles. If you must forge ahead, you'd best go around it. Okay. Why are you telling me this? I have a favor to ask you, young man. What is it? It's about my father. My father is now a noble, and the moment he became one, he found himself entranced by a carp, the great carp. For a long, long time since, he's done nothing but feed that cursed carp. Young man, please release my father from the carp's bewitching powers. I know my father wouldn't wish for an eternity like that okay so her father is enthralled by a carp which seems weird but the courtyard is in a okay and we need to go around the courtyard according to her of course because we don't know if we can trust her even can we is there something behind here no okay just oh sorry i i destroyed your candle again we're destroying people's candles so that's an item. So she calls them nobles. Those creepy slug monsters, she calls them nobles. But they are really easy to kill. And there's a lot of them. The courtyard is a curse and they seem to be focusing on me. But what does she mean by going around? See, they, he moved around. There we go. I'm wondering if these guys are the same as the ministers they were talking about. Because we heard talk about the ministers. And I'm wondering if the nobles are the same thing. This guy is just turning 90 degrees constantly, isn't he? There we go. The courtyard is cursed go around. That looks like the same guy. Okay, we fought a few of these on the rooftops already. I'm guessing I might be able to... Stab him in the back. There we go. I don't know what this guy is doing. Oh, he's trying to sap away my youth, probably. There we go. He's not gonna do that. He's not gonna do that. So this goes out again. 
So we have music playing nobles, and these guys definitely are the same thing. We saw that in the previous episode as well. What the hell? Okay, that that's coming from outside. Some weird noises coming from outside. I'm hoping it's just electro doggies. Electro doggies. The water is probably making more noise. Yellow gunpowder. There's no way up there, but I think we might be able to. Can we go up and over here? No. Okay, so the noise, we can't even check what the noise is all about. Oh! I think I can. There's like... Is that the same guy we fought in the abandoned dungeon? The cursed guy. I think it is. But we need to get on top of the roof for that. Which we technically could. Are they gonna go past me or are they gonna go left? Yeah, they're going left. Okay, great. Like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, she's sucking away my youth. Great. out of range of that one so apparently as long as she can see me there we go I think there's one above us as well it's definitely something above us okay We're on top of the roof now this is interesting so we can bypass a few things I suppose is it worth dropping onto these? Because I think I can kill them in one go anyway. I think I can kill them in one go anyway. That's fine. Let's grab this in a real quick manner. Can I move back up? Should be able to move back up, right? Oh no, I can't. Okay. Fine. Then we're stuck over here. There's definitely people on the roof, but apparently they don't want to come and play as long as I don't go up there. More defined confetti, which isn't a good sign. Uh, that's another swordsman. I can't attach to the roof in any way. And I really, really want to clear out this courtyard. Because if I can do that, because I can approach from the back now. Oh no, now I'm, I've, I've been seen, I've been seen, I'm gonna go into this hallway so I block sight lines for pretty much everybody. Oh, that was a sweep. There we go. So deflecting these guys works the best. I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, we're fine. Nothing wrong with this courtyard just yet. I'm still pretty sure that there are enemies outside. Well, on top of the roofs, so... This guy's turning around. There we go. There we go. Stabbed his ass. And we're out of danger again. So there's two more in the middle there. There's a swordsman over there as well. But adamantite scraps, a lot of resources, and a chest. Look at that glow. And that's more divine grass. That is so weird that that's inside of the... Because is that... Hmm. A secret medicine that fully restores vitality and cures all status abnormalities. Because we've had that before. There's multiple in storage. I'm just going to stab this thing in the back. Oh, that was just in time, I think. 
Couldn't have done that a bit longer. <laughs> that was stupid. Don't don't approach them like that. That was really, really dangerous. Shouldn't have done that. But I think that means we cleared out pretty much every enemy in the courtyard. So we're kind of free to move around. So her father was one of the nobles. And we just killed one that was a bit bigger. And with a red cloak. Okay, so she doesn't care. But the father is definitely one of those. So we do need to be careful. Okay, so there's definitely a soldier up there, but how would we even reach that? Because there's no grapple point on the roof. So two singing nobles, or one singing noble, and a swordsman. I think I can take the swordsman if I take out the music player. But I'm wondering if I can attack them from behind. If I go in here, is there a way I can open up a pathway to the other side? Doesn't seem like it. There's no way up the roof again. No. I'm gonna have to go around to the front of it and Jan just attack them head on, I think. There we go. And then I can run away from that one, because there's another one in the back, so move back and lure him over here. Is she coming? Yeah, she's coming out. Okay. Get over here. Oh, that thing is annoying. I think I'm going to have to pass her. There we go. Oh! Heal up. There we go. Deflecting and attacking. Just to keep the pressure up. There we go. He was a bit tougher than the other ones. He got a better defense for some reason. Just gonna... Okay. Yeah, there's a sculptor's idol. Okay, great. That is amazing. That is amazing. We managed to do two sculptor's idols without healing in between. But I feel like there's a way across the rooftops now. I think I'm also just gonna rest at this one. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. We're at the other side now. Oh, so that means we can probably access the bridge where this one guy was trying to snipe us from. So let's just not rest at it. Just commune. And see what else is here. So I think there's definitely one here, but... Oh no, it's the guy on the tree there. So if I go... I'm just gonna try and stab this guy in the back. And then hide. Okay. Is there... Something over here? Okay, this is weird. There's like only this area. So unless that is a way to get a shortcut... I don't see the point of this area. I really need to kill that guy on the... On the tree. We also need to kill the giant carp. Which I'm assuming is in this water. Oh Jesus Christ. Yep. Okay. I, I couldn't have timed that any better. Could I? Holy shit balls. I jumped out of my skin because of that one. <laughs> Sekiro. Jesus Christ. That was a chub scare. With a literal jump okay well that was the giant carp we can get across which is fine oh boy oh boy oh we can get on top of the roof that way wait what is that item I don't recall that 
more divine confetti, which is gonna be useful in a second, I suppose. But, 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 let's get on top of the roof. Because I'm guessing there's one or two enemies up here as well. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, so I got him. Now the one in the back is all the way over there. So if I... He's not going to see me, right? Although he's an archer, he has more... Eyesight, maybe? I'm going to have to check in front of me as well, because... Oh, it's definitely movement. That's that enemy we saw before, but I don't have enough healing boards to deal with that. Gonna have to see in a second what that is. I'm just gonna deal with the snipers first. There we go. Ooh, Sakura Bull of the Palace. What the hell is going on? Okay. So it's a bull again, and it definitely saw me, it only has one health bar, oh I can, and at least took uh, three off, oh god. Oh my god. Getting staying close. We're up to pallets. And I got killed. Okay. Oh wow. Just gonna run counterclockwise again. To the side that it's not heading to. Okay, it's going. Let's just stack all of it on top of that. There we go. I think we have it. There we go. In the face. Well, in the ears, apparently. And another prayer breed. There we go. Our fourth one. And a beast's karma. Latent skill that increases the maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. A manifestations of regret. Those regretful of their vile actions are haunted by many spirit emblems. Perhaps this innocent beast was burdened with the karma of man. Inheriting the karma of those they've killed is also part of being a shinobi. Okay. There we go. Killed another one of those. It looked a bit more differently. And then we got a bulging po coin purse, adamantite scrap, and a bit of sugar. Okay, that's another mini boss done. So I think this is a perfect time to then rest. There's more pallets over here, which is fine. I'm not gonna heal up because I'm just gonna just gonna rest and we're gonna move forward then that was a bit of a mini boss but not that much of a problem you could actually death blow him but only for a third of his hell let's heal that up and rest and then we can also increase our physical attributes so that of course resurrects everybody but we don't really care so six prayer necklace the centipedes will seek out a leader, often changing names out of loyalty. Centipede chiefs are known as long arms for their large talon-like weapons. 
We knew about that already as well. Marksman vitality and posture have increased. There we go. And we have five skill points actually. Might want to check that out as well. So that's quite a few skills. So I think I want to go with the Fang and Blade. So that allows us to use a prosthetic tool alongside the sword, like the Loaded Axe, Loaded Spear and Mist Raven. But I think the one behind that is more interesting, this one. So uh, projected force after using certain prosthetic tools allows one to draw the power of that tool into the sword and release it in a forward direction. The specific attack changes depending on the tool used. So we can use that with the Loaded Umbrella. So I feel like that might open up some nice combos. And we only need one skill point for that, which is interesting. So there we go. That's that. Our six prayer necklace. And we got the resurrection node back from resting as well. So now let's move over here. I don't want to enter the water just yet before I've killed that dude. So no, 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 no. Just gonna move towards the items here first, because I feel like we're heading towards the red building. And I don't want to do that just yet. Just get Mebo Balloons of Soul. Run around in the water and get more items, because items might be handy. What's that noise? There's somebody hitting something. There's definitely somebody hitting something. You can go far. Oh god, an Electro Doggy! A frogger doggy. Oh, he knew where I was perfectly. He does go in one hit. Which is fine, we got a few spirit emblems from him as well. There's definitely more swordsmen where that came from. Just gonna check out the side building first. So, I'm gonna take a dive. And I felt like somebody was firing at me already. Just gonna go into these flowers and see what happens. More. Oh god. Yeah. Well, this is the point I'm gonna die. Jesus Christ. I felt the electricity coming, so the electricity goes through the water. Which, of course, makes sense. He's, he's deaf. He's deaf, isn't he? I, I, just, I just came up behind him. And he didn't even see me there. Okay, so there's another one over there. Might as well take that guy out first. Now that I have the advantage of surprise. Why are they holding balls? I think these guys are using bombs. Did somebody else see me? I think that guy down there saw me, right? Yeah. So, one behind me on the roof. God damn it. There we go. They're not too hard if you can get the deflects in. But of course, more than one would be bad. So now, onto the roof again. I think I could probably stealth kill at least one of these. That guy is looking in my direction, though. He's gonna see me, isn't he? And the other one is an archer, though. Maybe I should go down first and kill those two. But there's two on the walkway as well, so I need to be... Extremely careful. Let's just jump over there. And do this. Let's just go go away for a second. And over here, over there. And over there. There we go. Got around. That one guy followed me, but the other one didn't. I'm just gonna move back a bit. So I'm wide in the open. For this guy to attack me. Oh 
Oh, come on, I got him. Get back, get back, get back. I'm not on, not on the gourd. No, go back, go back. I don't know why he moved forward there. There we go. That's one. Oh, God. Seal up. There we go. It's another one down. So they definitely saw me. I don't know why they're not reacting to it. Oh no, he's definitely throwing stuff. Okay. Let's go back up. There we go. That's another one. And then slowly approach the archer. He's definitely going to start firing at me. There we go. Okay, so these guys are also easily defeated. And I get my health back from him. Okay. Okay, so there's more stuff over there. Can't seem to reach that from here. Oh, there's three more on the other side. I'm starting to lose health as well. I think I can death blow from above one of these guys, but probably gonna have to wait until the other one leaves. Yeah, like that. I think if I jump... Oh god, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. That's another one down. Okay. Okay. Calm down a bit. I think there's a few more ready to be killed. Yeah, okay, that one. Oh, he dropped down again. <laughs> I think he's having some troubles. Yeah, he's not getting up there, is he? Yeah, he's failing to get back up. So might as well focus on this guy now. Oh, yeah, I tried to jump, but didn't really care about that. There we go. One of them is freaking out. He's not getting up here at all. Okay, so I lost one resurrection node. But... We are getting closer to the bigger red building. Just gonna drop down for a bit. If I can kill that guy from behind, that would be good as well. I can't really hit, kill him from behind, but he's trying to... There we go. That was probably the most awkward fight ever. But at least he's dead. <laughs> there we go. Got the dead blow on him. I'm getting my health back, which is fine. Then I'm starting to lose my bearings, actually. Where am I now? Wait, so that's the courtyard we came from. There's way more stuff over here. This area is big. Ooh. Oh. Um, we fought one of these before. The, this is going to be annoying as we don't have a lot of movement space. And I just killed like a bunch of enemies. If I need to run through all of that again, it's going to hurt. But hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, I can backstab him. Oh, God, Nelly. And I'm dead. Yeah, I'm gonna run from that. Definitely gonna run from that. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Definitely gonna run from that. I couldn't um, backstab that dude. Ooh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave him there. Just gonna leave him there for now. Until I have something I can use to deal with that. Did, wait, was there one respawning? No, okay. Okay. Now. Jesus, what? There was a woman laughing. I swear I heard that. It's definitely a woman laughing. Okay, so we can go up through the waterfall. Over here. I can still hear the Sishimen warrior freaking out over there. What the hell is that? I'm just gonna... I'm not being pulled by the current. I'm just gonna check every little nook and cranny. Don't wanna miss anything. Although I've probably missed a few things. I can hear gurgling noises from the other side. He's just freaking out down there, is he? Yeah, he's still he's still fighting nothing. I'm just gonna let him do that. Let's open this up. Oh. How the hell am I supposed to So I either have to move forward to it? Oh wait, there's more spirit emblems in the middle here. Wait. Oh wait, this is an area I haven't been to yet. Oh yeah, there's an enemy over there as well. What the hell is going on with these guys? They were freaking out. Don't know if you guys saw that. He was going... He was inside the building at one point and then just teleported outside immediately. I could try and kill him, of course. Might even have to. We fought quite a few of these now. So if I can just pull him... There we go. That actually takes a lot off. And there we go. No problem, and we get our resurrection back. Okay, so there's a second one in there. Maybe we find a key. That would be nice. And there we go. Just killing his ass. There we go. Okay, where are we now? Seems like some sort of shrine. We also have a lot of money, by the way. We're gonna have to start spending that as well. This is weird. There's like a few glowy spots in here, but otherwise... There doesn't seem to be... Okay, never mind. Oh, there's a sculptor's idol over there. Because I hear more breeding. So I'm guessing there's more enemies. Yeah, there we go. There's definitely two of them. I've saw I've seen the other one. Just gonna go from one to the other. There we go. Getting those two down. And then we could at least kill one or two of these. Just gonna take the most dangerous ones out first. I think they're all dangerous. Just gonna turn around and run. And see who follows me. Oh, they all follow me. Obviously, they all follow me. Okay. Okay, so there's a few stuck over there. So as long as that is happening. Oh, they got through. Just gonna try and ignore. He's going through the back, isn't he? Where's the purple one? There he is. Just gonna give a smash. 
as much damage out of there as possible. Which, yeah, there's the one. Oh, I'm out of stuff. Just gonna keep circling this place. Oh, and I got electrocuted. Okay, one more resurrection left. Oh, God. There goes that one. Just picking them off one by one. There we go. And then the purple one. Definitely frog people. Stop doing that. Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh my god, that was a lot of dudes. Dragon Spring Sucky, there we go. There we go, we even got an item for that. Oh wow. That was a hefty battle. Still have one healing lord left. But not a single resurrection to my name anymore. Um, if I'm gonna rest here, that's gonna be bad, isn't it? Um, but I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna have to rest. I'm gonna have to rest. I'm gonna rest. Okay, here we go. Rest. And then I'm gonna try and kill that one. Did they resurrect? Yeah, they're all back. But now at least I'm here. Oh no, that's bad. Jesus Christ. Heal. Come on, let's push this down. There we go. You just needed to get close. There we go. Free a beat. And we killed the guy protecting the lake. Okay, that's superb. That is superb. At least we've done that. So, now that he's down, I think I'm going to pay a visit to a few of the merchants. Because we got the item that we can use to get more stock from these guys. Oh, wow. And I can't even reach that now. I think. Can I reach that if I... Yeah, okay. Just in time. Let's go through a few merchants and see what they're selling now. Oh, it's night. I think by going to the Fountainhead Palace, we probably turned it to night. Just gonna check on the sculptor now. Okay, he's quiet. A true wolf would choose for himself how to use his fangs. The look on your face tells me you've done just that. Okay, so because we killed Owl, probably. Okay, let's try. We can't fit any new prosthetics, so I don't know why I picked that. But, 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 but. We need more freaking scrap iron. I think I'm going to have to farm that from somewhere to see if we can't just force a few uh, upgrades through. Because it's basically the prerequisite for a lot of these things. Um, but we're almost done with that, I think, because... The later upgrades don't even need that anymore, so that's just even a lot of money. We do need scrap iron for that as well. So if we can get like 20 more pieces of scrap iron, that would be nice. I'm just going to get the long spark, and that's pretty much the only thing I can buy. Okay, because they're getting pricey as well. We could start spending a few of these, but maybe this one, the improved Sabi Maru, and see if I can get... No. We still need scrap iron for these things. God damn it. So five more scrap iron for the Phoenix Lilac Umbrella. That's something really interesting that I want to use. Because I think that's the thing that pulls the elemental powers into the umbrella. And if I can combine that with that one skill point we have left. I was just thinking about that. If we can, because we have a skill point now. If we can use that in this tree. Then now, after using certain prosthetic tools, allows one to draw the power of that tool into the sword and release it in a forward direction. I think we can use the umbrella to gather elemental damage and then get that into the sword. Oh no, this is the one. Allows one to perform a follow-up attack with certain tools that imbues the sword with the tool's effect. 
The sculptor retired to Shinobi prosthetic after developing this technique. He'd gone too far, killed too many. The flames of hatred had begun to manifest. And that works on the flame vent and the fine abduction. So we can get fire into our weapon. That is cool. So we can get we can set our weapon ablaze. But we need a lot more skill points to get to that. Because I need to unlock this one. And to do that we need to get this improved medicine as well. We're a long ways away, but can we talk to this guy now? Hey. Oh, he actually sells scrap iron. Okay. So let's buy five of these as a start. And then we can upgrade the umbrella to the Phoenix Lilac Umbrella. Uh, protects against attacks from all directions and preventing damage from apparition type enemies. Perfect. There we go. So now we need specific items, because it feels like that's like salt we need. That's more scrap iron, but that's fine. Uh, but I have what I wanted to have, so I think I'm going to spend the rest of my money on stuff. So we bought some divine confetti from that guy as well. Uh, I'm going to go past a few of the memorial mob guys now. Wait a second. So we're at the Ashina Castle Gate, where we fought uh, Gyobu the Demon. And the gate is closed. That's probably because the of the event that Owl actually sat in motion, probably. Unless now we get another boss fight here, but that's that would be annoying. I just, I'm just here to spend my money. So we're back to where that guy was that gave us our name. But I'm just going to check the memorial mob first. See if he doesn't sell anything extra now. More dragon blood droplet, and I feel like they're starting to sell more normal stuff as well. Because I don't remember if they were selling scrap iron before, but heavy coin purse, and let's buy all the purses first. And then I think the dragon blood droplets, and one more piece of scrap iron, and that's basically it. We got the money. May the departed rest in peace. There we go. I am gonna go in here now. To check up on this guy. Maybe his dialogue has changed. Oh. He's actually... Gone. Hello? You want something? Mm. Well, if not, be gone. War is on the horizon. A dreadful one at that. The dead will rise as mountains. And the hate will flow like an inferno. It will give birth to a demon. I'm certain of it. The dead will rise. Now then, be gone already. I doubt you would want to meet a demon, would you? Okay. Now then, I... I doubt you'd want to meet a demon, but we fought... We fought Gyobu the demon in this area, but where is that... Where is that guy? That is interesting that those characters have actually changed. I could go all the way up here. Maybe he's all the way up in the building. Nope, nobody at the top of the building, so let's head down again. So, with that done, we can actually see that night has fallen a bit, by the way. It looks darker overhead, but this this place is generally more light, and there's definitely something in the back there. So, we've managed to get until the tree, but there's more buildings to the right of it. But before we head there, look at the distance we've covered. That's a lot. But before we head there, I want to take care of that giant carp now. Now that we've got the rid of that lightning bolt thrower. Going down. And now, let's see what we can do here. I'm assuming we're going to have to fight it. There's normal carps in here as well. But they're running away. The place is a bit too open for me to actually do something about that. Um, let's go into this building. There's more enemies. No, enemies. Items. Items. Crush carp scale. Multiple of those. That's always good. And as you might expect, this place is actually huge. It feels like this was here recently. I feel like this is a trap. Ceramic shard, and this is probably where the fish just barged in. The giant carp is just barged in. I'm just gonna take a look around at the rest of this place. This, look at this. 
I mean, the visuals are stunning in this uh, in this lake. I love what they did with the water. It's not easy to do water in video games, but they uh, they kind of went with a sort of clear um, clear view when you're in the water, which is fine by me. It's not particularly realistic, but it's definitely fine by holy crap, fine by me. Wow, um, I don't even know how to s how to begin. Where to begin? There's a few items dotted around. Precious baits. I think we found that once before, so those were slugs. And it's starting to get darker, and I feel like that over there is another headless. But I don't know. That almost looks like a sculptor's idol. But it couldn't have been, right? It can't have been. More precious baits. Still don't know what to even use for that. What, what do I use that for? Precious bait, ring the bell, drop the bait. Well, we haven't seen a bell yet, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet, but... Yeah, definitely another headless. Gonna have to do the same thing we did in the, the other area again. So it's going to do head flips all day long. Oh, where the hell did that come from? Wait, are there two? Ah, oh, fuck, there's two. Yeah, there's two. Crap. Oh, move, 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 move. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, wow. Those are heavy. Those are... Heavy and they're in each other's grill, so... That's going to be annoying. That is definitely going to be annoying. But if we know we can't do that just yet, I want to try something else. We want to try and get into that cave. Because I was talking about the carp first, so I might as well do the carp first. There's another item over here, might want to grab that. More grave wax. I think we have plenty of grave wax where that came from. Oh wow, this was more hidden than I thought. I couldn't find it anymore. Okay, so let's get... There's the carp. Okay, there's the carp. Do I need to death blow it or something? I think I'm hidden over here. Oh, not anymore. Oh, it's definitely going back. I don't seem to be doing much. Jesus Christ. I don't even know if I'm doing any damage. I'm hitting it, but... Continuously doing Ow. So its charges are definitely one hits. But I don't know if I'm even wait, what is happening? Oh god, no. And it killed me again. Okay. Oh, but its mouth goes open. So there's also pots over here. Stuff that I can hide in. It looks horrifying, by the way, because it looks like it has human teeth. I'm wondering if there's an extra thing you can do if you get out of this the entire way. So now he's moving this way again. I love, what is this animation that Sakura is doing right now? He's just moonwalking. So he's moving past. Oh no, he's not. 
It's definitely not. So there's definitely another building over there. Oh, wow! Yeah, he doesn't care about buildings. Can I get into the mouth? No. Okay. Ow! Okay, so I need to get to that stealthily, probably. Because he comes over here immediately. I could cross into that, I suppose. When he's moving in that direction. That's probably what the game wants me to do. So not now, but when he's moving away. So like... Now. Oh no, 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 no! <gasps> okay. Is that a hole in the wall? Yeah, it is. There's a hole in the wall. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until the next uh, cycle. Yeah, there we go. There we go, we're in the building. Because I don't think we can kill it. Or not just yet, at least. Did it just go through? Okay. I think it just started panicking that I got to the building. Although... I think I might have celebrated a bit too soon. Because there seems to be nothing here. Oh no, wait, I can get up. Okay, I can get up. Okay. Where are we now? So we got through that bit, but... Just gonna jump all over the place. Please give me a sculptor's idol. For getting past the fishy bit. There we go. Now, what is this? Ooh, we're really close to those rocks now. That is interesting. That is really interesting. But that's going to have to wait until next time, because I'm going to take a little break after the uh, our fishy excursion. Uh, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And yeah, we're going to get back to this warrior who doesn't die to a half a dozen leapfrogging swords masters. But does die to a giant carp. But uh, with that, thank you guys enormously for watching. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.